Hi, it's Andy from EasySoft Limited here. Today we're going to be looking at installing the EasySoft Oracle ODBC driver onto a non-Windows platform. Now this could be Linux, AX or Solaris for example. You'll need, so obviously you'll need access to a non-Windows platform. I'm using Linux in this case. You'll need access to Oracle obviously and probably about five minutes of your spare time to do the install. That's the maximum amount of time you'll need for this. Now I've already activated the uh, EasySoft Limited account, which is free to do. I've also um, downloaded the Oracle ODBC driver. Again, it's free to download. Visit EasySoft.com if you need any of these things. Now, so you don't have to watch all the processors, um, because you'll have some of this set up anyway, I've already downloaded the Oracle ODBC driver onto my Linux box. I've also downloaded the Oracle Instant Client Basic and SQL Plus, and these have already been set up. Uh, now I have created a little uh, quick demo of database on Oracle to show you some of the data in there, and what we'll do later on, we'll get the data back over the ODBC connection that we're going to create. Okay, so we'll start off by taking a look at the database that we've got set up. We'll take a look at some of the data in there. Okay, so we've just got a little bit of data in there to show you the customer ID as one and the customer name as EasySoft. So what we'll see later on is we'll um, we'll install the ODBC and we'll get the data back uh, through that connection, and you'll you'll see that data coming back fine. Okay. So like I said before, I've already extracted the data into. Uh, a directory I just need to install that now. I'm not rooted on this machine so I'll just need to run this as sudo. Has to be for my password as sudo. Okay, um, this all starts with our license agreement, so you need to read through this at your leisure and when prompted at the end, yep, you accept it. The software then do a quick check to ensure that all the basic tools needed for installation. It also reminds you that you'll need a location for installation and you'll need right permissions to that directory. Now we recommend you simply accept the default locations for this. So you just press return. Okay, the install directory has been created. Return. A quick notice here, just say that Unix ODBC as the driver manager will be installed. So I just need to press return again. It asks whether um, whether you already have Unix ODBC installed. No, we do not. Okay, right, that's Unix ODBC, the lines, license, client, and shell installed. The uh, system now asks you, the software asks you whether or not you'd like to request the uh, driver license now. Type Y for yes. Now we can either, it's, we've got three options now, we can either exit this process now, we can view the existing licenses we've got on the system. All we can, option two, is to create a license for uh, Oracle ODBC driver. So we'll take option two. Okay, we'll need your name. Company. Email address. It's important for email address you give us the email address that you signed up for and activated your EasySoft account. Um, again, it's because it just does a cross reference in our database and puts your license to that email address. Uh, phone number. A 
phone number is important uh, because we just use those details to help in the case of a support call. Uh, no fax number. As we trial any software, we don't have a reference yet, so just press return. Now we supply a couple of options for re receiving your free trial license. Option one for automatic is the best as this is the quickest and easiest way to get access to your license. And that's it. There you go. We immediately get the license code back. Uh, now we just need to press zero to exit this setup and go on to the data source setup. The Unix ODBC manager is made aware of the ODBC driver. We are told that the data source will be called Oracle. Do you want to create a data source now? Yes, we do. This is an instant client installation, so we type 